Yeah, yeah, Mel, if you um, make sure you got the umbrella, the barrel and a blanket, yeah, that should work. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm just trying to figure out a way of how I'm going to smuggle myself onto that coach. They're trying to tell me that I am not in the team. Hey, listen, that is a lie if I've ever heard one, all right? Because I am here to give you the all exclusive behind the scenes access as the Lionesses leave the team hotel in London and make their way to Brighton for tomorrow's match against Norway. This is Lionesses Live, connected by EE. <laughs> Yes, yes, welcome, welcome. I'm Joella Noble, and as you can see, we are live outside the Team Hotel in London. The Lionesses will be heading down to Brighton to kick off that all important match against Norway in a just over about 28 hours. Not that I'm like counting or anything, but you know, we do have a massive show in store for you today. As per usual, we've got Man City duo, Ellie Roebuck and Alex Greenwood on the show today. Now, Ellie's gonna come and chat to me in just a few minutes, but before then, listen, I need to feel the love, all right? Make sure you're sending in your messages of support for the Lionesses. Do that on the YouTube comments and of course on Twitter and make sure you hashtag lionesses live now Ellie will be coming to chat to me in just a few seconds but before we get to that let's take a look at the girls training good we've done two D get two traveling traveling there you go Side. Yeah. Diving. Diving. Nice and snappy. Come here. Pull your legs. Yeah. Right. Like you need Jess. You need Jess. Yeah. All two. Like it. Like it, Tooney. Finish. Good stuff. Okay. Last one. Go well. Go well. Oh. Yes. There we go. That's what we're building. Change. Go get it. Yep. Love it. Yes, yes, the lioness is putting in the hard graft in the heat there, including Ellie, who as if by magic has appeared and is joining me on the show. Thank you so much for joining us on Lionesses Live. No, I am excited to be here. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. It's hot. Um, not used to this weather from <laughs> being up north, but yeah, north, it's, north. it's roasting north, north. But yeah. this is this is hot. I mean, like right before this interview, actually, you were sitting down there with the fan no, in no. hand. <laughs> you know, don't you wish you could just take that on a picture of you as well? I can imagine. Yeah, the past few sessions as well have been really, really hot. Um, it's been tough graft out there to be honest yeah yeah good preparation I can imagine that great preparation for sure for sure um, also you've put up uh, a couple pictures as, as well of you mid save yeah you know looking like you're you're <laughs> flying through the air Ellie yeah. I mean what's it feel like being in the squad right now at this point yeah it's good the vibes good obviously coming off the back back of the game at Old Trafford where it was unbelievable the atmosphere mm -hmm. and everything was was so good and I think now we're just excited to obviously play Norway, tough opposition, but also to be back in front of our fans and, and hopefully recreate that atmosphere. Yeah. Now, uh, Mary was telling us the other day that the goalkeepers union, like you guys are proper close, you know? Yeah, it's and, strong. And yeah, it's strong. And I can imagine like super competitive as well. Does that mean that like you're pushing each other to your next level? Yeah, definitely. I think if we can create that environment where it's challenging, it also makes it fun as well. You know, we're together for a long time and there's going to be a lot more training sessions to come. So the more like we can stick together and, and enjoy our part, then that just makes the group stronger for sure. Yeah. And not just the goalkeeping union that's strong and really close, like the whole, mm -hmm. the whole squad's yeah. really tight, aren't they? And you went on holiday with some of the girls not too I long did. ago. Yeah. Went to LA. Um, it was, was it a lovely, LA? lovely little girls trip. It was, oh, yeah, it was I really nice. That. There's um, this picture and you're the only one with a bike. 
Do you want yeah. to see it? Oh, that yeah. One. That was in San Francisco, actually. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Can you explain that? Yeah, I need to know that because I'm thinking in my head, I'm imagining you riding a bike and everyone like no, running. No, no. We all like <laughs> I just kept my eyes for the picture. But Leah didn't to fall off her bike. But I bet she's not mentioned that. Oh, yet, is so. she not a strong bike rider then? Maybe if you get her on here, she'll tell you about that because she didn't stop going on about it for the whole trip, I will add. Ah! Um, no, nah, she fell off a bike. It was actually quite bad, but she survived, so now we can wind her up about were, it. Were there any bruises and stuff? There was there? a few cuts and oh, grazes no. and a few hand wounds, for sure. Oh, no, listen, that will probably be me, you know. I'm not a strong bike rider. Yeah, she blames the bike. I'm not too sure. I didn't see it happen. But yeah. I mean, I think the bike and the ground, you know, they, they really do make a difference. Trust me, I've ridden on some wobbly roads in the past. Yeah, apparently it was the bike, so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> we'll, we'll give her that one. Yeah. Also, um, you know, when you go on a girl's holiday, there's always someone planning everything, doing up itinerary. Who's the person yeah. that does that? Do you know what? Leah was good at that. Leah had planned oh. a few, like, restaurants and things like that, but we kind of just winged it. We didn't want to plan too much, I think. Our life's so structured with football, it was just like, wake up, see where the day takes us. But we kind of drove from San Francisco down the Big Sur. Oh, and, I love that. Yeah, to LA, so it was yeah, nice. Yeah, that's nice. a nice drive as well, very scenic. Were very you lot scenic. not scared? It's to... hotter here, by the way, that's all I'm no, saying. No, this is wild. I don't know if you just, you definitely just see me wipe my upper lip, didn't you? It's so warm. And I've got my earpiece falling out right now because <laughs> my ears are sweating. So if you see me doing a madness, then that is yeah, exactly why. You fine. know, it's live, it's, it's live. Fine. This is what happens. And I've got another question about the girls' holiday as well, okay. because you know, you're getting ready, you know, everyone's taking their time, some people are quicker than others. Yeah. Who's the person that everyone has to wait for before you get ready to leave? Do you know what? That's actually really tough because the group that went, we was all pretty sharp. Is it? We don't take long to get ready, there's no messing, like, no one really wears makeup, no one's like pretentious like everyone was yeah. just like right be downstairs at this time and we're off nice the car was leaving whether he was there or not so fair it's enough to go so everyone you lot ready. made it happen yeah yeah all right i'm not mad at that no, it was strong it was strong good thing i wasn't there would you have took a while i would have I, I wear makeup and i guess i'm pretentious then <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> now also i know that coffee is a really big part of this team are you a coffee drinker i am yes I'm a huge coffee snob yes oh so sure. am i and once you have the good coffee it's Can't. like hard to go to the rubbish you know yeah, what it's a rubbish struggle. coffee tastes you know, like don't yeah, you yeah it's it's pretty bad actually. Yeah, no, it takes a lot of my life. It's serious, serious stuff. Now I have heard that you've also considered opening a coffee shop. Yeah, I would like to. Um, I think Jill's the one who's yeah. like leading the way with that, but I'm only young, so well, I say I'm only young. I'm trying not to think too far ahead of after my career, but it's something yeah. I'd like I'm interested in it, I love it. Fair so enough. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going yeah. into something like that. And if that's something that you want to do, bring why Jill not? some competition, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not just box to box. Box Box Part 2. Yeah, that's, what would you call it? Oh, I don't know. Not Box to Box, I'm not a runner. Would it be um, like football inspired? Potentially, yeah, but um, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Mm. Authentic. It's got to oh, be a bit authentic, hasn't it? Do you know it? what? I had an idea. I might give it to someone right okay. now. Me. Give it to me. Bougie. Bougie. Bougie coffee. Bougie coffee. <laughs> Does that not, is that not that's it for not you? That's not me. Yeah, I don't she think wasn't impressed. Me. Pretentious makeup? Pretentious, pretentious, pretentious coffee. <laughs> Stylish. Pretentious people only. <laughs> if you're not pretentious and not wear don't makeup, you're, not, you're actually not allowed. Yeah, don't come. <laughs> now, looking ahead to tomorrow, you mm -hmm. know, you got the match against Norway. Are you really looking forward to feeling that support in the sold out stadium? Another sold out stadium? Yeah, the energy's crazy and I think it does really like replicate onto the pitch you know we do feel it mm. um i think it took us a while at old trafford like the girls to hear each other and stuff and this, yeah. the noise was like insane which yeah. we're not complaining about like it's amazing and the fireworks and the show and yes i remember walking out and it was just smoke couldn't see anything i was like i hope this clears for the game wow, but it yeah. was it was an unbelievable atmosphere and i think yeah, it's exciting. We're all really excited for that again. Yeah, was there anything that you came out to that you just didn't expect that day? I think it was like the smoke and the mm. noise. and Because I didn't even think about it. It was such a roar. And I think as well, like when you come out for the pre-warm-up, usually 
there's not obviously as many fans in the stadium at that point, but mm-hmm. there were still loads of fans in the stadium. I was shocked, to be honest. Yeah. It oh, was nice. Wow. It was class. It's beautiful, though, you know, loads so of So good. Support. That's what we want, you know, so exactly. can't complain about it. All right, well, listen, I know you've got to go in yeah. a minute. Thank you so much for chatting to me. But before you leave, because you look way too ready right now, yeah, <laughs> I've got one more question for you, because I know you and Alex Greenwood, you guys are really close, aren't we you? Are. Yeah, Is there yeah. anything you can tell me about her that the people watching might not necessarily know? She is also a coffee snob, but that is not knowledge is that. Yeah, she's she's bougie. She's a bougie coffee snob. Is she? Yeah, oh, so maybe she'll take that. the name. Yeah, I'm just saying, whoever takes name, the name, I, I just want 25. percent Do you think that's fair? Oh, she'll give you that. I <laughs> she'll give you it. Yeah. All right, because you said it, then you know it's then, basically yeah. a contract. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, thank you so much for chatting Perfect. to me, honestly. It's been lovely. I'm going to see you again soon, sure. and I really look forward to it. Thank you. Take care, my darling. I'll take that from you. All right, so I'm going to go on to some fan questions. My iPad temperature is, um, is hot right now, and it absolutely needs to cool down. So if I can get uh, a bit more information from one of our lovely producers coming on, thank you so much. See, listen. This is what happens in life. Now listen, make sure you send over your fan questions, your comments, your messages of support. Do it on YouTube, do it on Twitter, and don't forget to hashtag Lionesses Live. So I'm gonna come back to those comments right now because as you just seen, I don't have a working iPad. Oh, okay. All right, now, SAFC lover says, good luck, girls. It's our strongest squad ever. Yes, I love that. That's like, we're, we're feeling the energy. Sorry, who, who said that? I think it sounds like Beyonce said that, but I wonder if it's the Beyonce. <laughs> All right, not the the Beyonce that we know and love, but another Beyonce that we don't know, but we do love. Oh, hello. It is Alex Greenwood. She said, well done, girls. Keep going. You're absolutely going to smash it. Thank you so much for joining me today, Alex. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah? Yeah, enjoying the song. Well, I was just looking at you um, (laughs) sitting in the front of the coach. It looked like you were about to drive it. What what was the vibe there? Were you just waiting for me? I was just waiting for you, yeah. Oh, okay. Thought I'd have a go at the bus, see what I'm saying. (laughs) (laughs) Take it around a roundabout? Yeah. (laughs) Did you guys um, do the the boating experience the other day as well? Yeah, we did it together. Yeah, it was good, actually. Who was driving? George, yeah, she was good. Was she? Really good, yeah, I think she's done it before. All right, all right, I like that. Yeah. I need to get involved in it myself, actually. All right, so thank you so much for joining me, Alex. Um, are you packed up and ready to go? Packed up, ready to go. Um, looking forward to getting there, actually, now. Yeah? Um, yeah, actually. What's the mood right like now? right now with everyone? Chilled, really good, yeah, yeah as expected, really. Um, I think everyone just wants to get there now and see the stadium. Yeah, so um, I asked Ellie to tell me something about you oh, yeah? that uh, no one would really know. She told me you're a coffee snob. Is that like public knowledge? Oh, you're looking like, no, you're not she a coffee snob. She's not a coffee snob. She's the worst of the I mean, worst. she did admit to being a coffee snob as well, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah, I'll probably take that one. I, would, I mean, I'll drink coffee if it's the last thing available, but whereas yeah. she wouldn't. She'd yeah, wait. She'd yeah wait, no, yeah. I think I'm like on her side with that one. Really? If it's not good, then... Even if you're desperate, no. Why am I wasting my taste buds? Yeah. Do you know enough. what I mean? Like, it's an insult, <laughs> you know? But anyway, I know you and Ellie are close, but the whole squad, you know, seem to have a tight bond and a real sense of togetherness as well. Now, you've settled into the team base here. Is it becoming a bit of like a home away from home for you? Yeah, it does feel like that a little bit. I think you get a bit of a routine around the hotel. Yeah. Um, set your room up a little bit like home. Now everyone's doing like the arcade, basketball games, <laughs> tennis, table tennis and all of that. Are you getting involved in any of those? Yeah, I have a little go. Um, to be fair, I'm just here to sit on the couch, have a coffee and watch the footy. <laughs> what are you absolutely smashing it at though? I'm all right at the games. basketball, but I don't think I um, don't think anyone gives me a chance to be honest. Oh no, we so can't I'm just have a silent that. one. I'll just keep up when not expected. Mm, 
we need to have like a proper leaderboard oh, for yeah, that, we don't you think? Do. Yeah, yeah, some names on there with some scores, I and think. I keep on saying as well, like I want to be involved in that. Come and get involved. I don't know if I'm allowed in. <laughs> but I heard that you're a bit of a perfectionist because well, I am too, so I could proper relate to that as well. Is it sometimes like you find it hard to unwind after matches so you go and watch the match back? Yeah, I'm a little bit of... Um, a little bit of perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that. I just need to, mm. once I get things done, then I can switch off. But I have to do it first. Right, so straight the after the match, you're watching it back? As soon as I can, yeah. Oh, as soon wow. as I can. No, that's amazing. I really like that. And what are you like? Do you feel like you're overcritical or are you quite like fair on yourself? No, I think the older I've got, the, mm. um, the easier it's become to, to judge yourself a little bit, a little bit easier. But for me, it's just about putting it to bed as soon as possible. And the sooner yeah. I watch the game, the easier it is to do that. Yeah, 100%. And you had an outstanding season for Man City as well. You made the PFA WSL Team of the Year, which is a brilliant achievement. Congratulations. How did that feel? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was it was obviously to get nominated by your, your fellow professionals as well as always an honour. So, yeah, I mean, great achievement. I, I really enjoyed last season. So, yeah, yeah it was a good way to end it. All right. Well, well, I'm just hearing in my ear that the coach is actually ready to you leave, and I cannot. I'm the driver. I cannot. Coach, exactly. You know. you're the, how are they, how are they going to leave if the driver is here standing next to me? Duh. <laughs> but I've got one last question for you. We had Laura Bassett on the show the oh, other day yeah. as well, and you know you were old teammates at Notts County, and uh, I've got to mention the infamous free kick oh, yeah. that was done alongside Ellen White. Now, do you think that that's something that we can create with this squad? Yeah, we could have a go of it. I'm not sure how that would go down, to be honest. Um, but yeah, what a moment that was. It feels like years ago, I have to be honest. Yeah. I think I think you guys uh, who are watching now, you, you might have actually seen that just then. But listen, Alex, I would love to see that. That would be so word. good. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I watch it, it's hilarious to me. It is, and but me too. Thank you so much for Pleasure. joining me. Good luck with everything, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank Peace. you. <laughs> right, we've got what seems like a... Uh, brand new iPad that doesn't feel hot. It feels like average temperature that's, uh, that allows it to be in working order. So thank you so much, producer Lucy, for sorting that out for me. I'm going to read some fan questions. I'm going to start off with Amy Ward, who has said definitely a Euro winning squad. And then she's put the, the lion emoji, which I love. Craig Miller has said, Go smash it again, Lionesses. Yes, because that is what we need to see. Detta Luke has said, our Lionesses are raw some. Go girls, we are with you all the way. I love that, raw some. I'm going to have to steal that and use that for, for myself. <laughs> Julian H has said, good luck to the Lionesses tomorrow night against Norway. Let's make it two wins from two. Yes. Kate B has says, go on girls, we'll be cheering you on from the north. Yes, we love to see it. And Saf Clover 123 has said, good luck girls, our strongest squad ever, which is honestly so amazing to receive all of that support from you guys. Please keep on messaging in. Of course, as you know, we're live every single day. So um, you'll have the chance to get your message read aloud. And so um, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining us here on Lionesses Live. Now this coach is about to leave. I'm gonna wave off the Lionesses. As I say, um, they're going in just a minute. I don't know if you see all that luggage underneath, but hey. Things are really happening. I will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. where Josh will be alongside me as we get excited for the match with guest Marva Krill. And we'll also be linking up with Chelsea Grimes on location at her club, Mersey Rail Ladies FC, where she'll be joined by a few of her teammates as they tell us about being in an EE connected club. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>